My grandfather came with his father in 1882. He was nine years old. He became a peddler, and one of the biggest, big, or first houseware items in the country was an old-fashioned corn broom. After being a peddler, he realized a lot of brooms were being sold, so he started manufacturing brooms in 1896, and uh, that's the beginning of the Libman. It was the Libman Broom Company at that time. Uh, I've been here now about 44, 43 years. I've always felt if we, if, if the product must be of good quality. If not, we're not going to make it. There, there, are, there are not very many products out there with a the family name on the product, and it, 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 it ties it all together. It ties it the generations together. So I have uncles, cousins, aunts, second cousins, third cousins, uh, cousins that I call uncles and aunts, but they're really my cousins, but it's kind of, it gets kind of mixed and confusing. We're just one big family and we, we associate ourselves with this company, you know. We take pride in working in this company and the fact that this is a family owned company and the fact that people here are family, we, you know, we, we tend to watch out for each other. Producing the new F-150 requires new manufacturing methods, including an assembly line light years beyond anything Henry Ford even imagined. Everything we have done in the more than 20 years has been aimed for this moment. Reinventing the F-150 manufacturing process pushed Ford engineers to new pinnacles of innovation. These big things you see behind me are actual rivet guns. There's also flow drill screws. Think of one-sided screws. Take that and you supplement it with adhesives. Essentially, you've got one continuous joint for stiffness, for strength. It really impacts dynamics. That first truck that comes off of the line is going to be right. The payoff is a truck that's incredibly rigid, lighter, and stronger than ever before possible. When you build it right, it benefits the customer for all the years that they own the vehicle.